are building a QEG already. Please put yes in the chat box. some responses there. Alright, so um, we'll continue on. So first, uh, a little bit of background about me. I've always believed that I had a gift for understanding electrical and mechanical devices, and I always gave credit to this, for this to the Lord. It was really not my doing. I just couldn't get enough of opening up things and figuring out how they worked. I was always taking broken things out of the trash and repairing them. By age 13, I had built two radio transmitters. The first had a 5 watt output, and the second had a 50 watt output. Uh, we built that one from uh, an army surplus transmitter. And with a couple of friends, we did broadcasts live on AM radio at uh, 1600 kilohertz, 1600, 1605. Um, this was quite, quite legal, but it sure was a lot of fun. <laughs> At this time, I was also developing hi-fi audio systems, building go-karts, mini-bikes, and repairing friends and family's electronics equipment. My favorite area of electronics at the time was radio, because I was fascinated by the idea that you could communicate across the planet without any wires.
uh, in my last years at Shopback, I designed the electronic drive for a switch reluctance motor that's used in the world's first vacuum cleaner system that was designed in on a production vehicle, which debuted on the 2014 Honda Odyssey band. Now, we worked with Honda uh, from the design of this vehicle uh, all through, all the way through production. So the system was designed in. That was quite a coup. Um, and here's a list of my 17 patents that uh, I've accumulated over the years. It was from my job at ShopVac that I retired early to work on a free energy device. And interestingly, everything I chose to teach myself throughout my life has become a required experience for the QEG project. I started working on a design for a radiant energy receiver, but at the time it didn't appear to have enough capacity to power a home, which was our criteria for getting off the grid. Then I happened upon a YouTube video of the Wits 40 kilowatt fuelless generator. When I saw that, it really grabbed me. And I could tell that this machine was for real just by the sound of the resonance. And here I am today. Okay, uh, early this year, I gave a 10 week course on how to build a QEG and get it to resonance. In the picture, you'll see our Greek team's QEG in its early stages. And I know that your Geos is on the webinar, so I'd like to give you and Nikos a big shout out. It has been a great pleasure working with you these many months. In fact, we know there are several students from the course here on the webinar today. Can you just put a yes in the chat box so we can acknowledge you? Thanks.
Step six is the exciter coil set up and rough tuning. And this is the third resonance. And then step seven, final tuning to over unity.